All right, so if you've watched the earlier videos to this shelter series, you've learned, you know, how body heat is lost. You've learned how to dress, you know, using a colder principle uh, to help prevent uh, hypothermia. You've learned uh, a sleeping bag system, a sleeping system that you can use uh, to also help stave off uh, hypothermia and, and maintain your, your body core temperature. You've also learned the four W's of site selection, so you know that you have a good location. So what I want to teach you in this video is an adaptation of the five minute shelter system. The five minute shelter system was developed by Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. We still teach it there, still teach it in my own school. Uh, it's just that good of a shelter system. The key to it is how fast you can put it up. And I'm gonna show you some of, the, some of the, the ways that you can set yourself up for success that makes this go up quickly so that if you see a storm coming in or you're borderline hypothermic and need to get a shelter up quickly so that you can move on to other priorities, uh, you can do that quickly. So I'm going to show you the different configurations that this can go to very quickly uh, and uh, and Yeah, that way you you know Basically everything there is to know about your your quote-unquote modern type shelters that you can prepare for then from there prepare this first and then be prepared to find yourself completely unprepared from there You know if for some reason you don't have this or it gets lost or it gets stolen for some reason We'll go into actually how you back this up with more primitive means of shelter. Now that I've got my ridge line established, this loop is going to become one corner of my actual poncho shelter. And there's, there's basically uh, three different configurations that I want to show you that you can set these up in. And I'll talk about, you know, reasons that I use those particular configurations. But I've got my first corner established. My poncho has grommets in it. I've already goosenecked the hood. Uh, one reason I like to use the poncho uh, for a, a shelter system is because I can use it stationary like this as a tarp and when I'm on the move I can actually you know untie the hood, use it kind of like a rain jacket and it's a little more uh, versatile that way. So I'll find one corner of that and I've got a grommet here. I'll take that loop and put it through that grommet. Take one of my stakes, or I can use a toggle if I want, just a stick, doesn't matter. And I'll pull on that end until that's tight. All right, so that basically established the beginning of my shelter. So the first configuration I wanna show you is uh, the diamond or plow point configuration. This is one that I would use uh, in cold weather nasty weather where it's raining. Um, what I like about it is it has three sides of protection. So I'll take the opposite corner, stretch it out, take one of my stakes, and I'll stake that tight. Then come over to these other corners. Need a couple more stakes here. Come over to these other corners. Take out one, go to the other side, and stake out the other. Now what this does is it gives me three sides of protection and I can get in here pretty cozily and I would have my fire right out here so I would like to use a shelter like this a diamond slash plow point shelter is what I would use in super cold weather where I need a lot of protection from the wind um, and I need to trap as much body heat as possible there's not as much uh, convective breeze that can get through here so this is a great cold weather shelter this is how I would do it uh, you could even put a prop stick up in here to give you a little more room uh, but a basic diamond plow point shelter is this right here and you saw how fast that was to actually configure now if using the same principle still got my corner staked off got it all right so same same principle same corner stake if it was uh a uh, 
a little bit better weather, we'll say. Let me switch these corners. And I wanted to establish a lean-to. A lean-to is uh, not very efficient as far as trapping body heat, so it's more of a fair weather shelter, in my opinion. So this would be a, a, a lean-to shelter for a little better weather. Um, this is when I, I want to take advantage of a nice, cool, convective breeze uh, in, in, uh, in a hotter environment, and I just want to project some shade. Um, or if it's maybe I have a, uh, a long fire that I would use in front. But anyway, that's it's kind of a fair weather shelter in my opinion. I don't expect it to rain. I'm going to put this up to get me some shade and a little bit of protection from the wind, a little bit of protection of the elements. But um, it's a great shelter to use if you want to take advantage of a convective breeze because this lets a lot of body heat out and lets a lot of convective breeze in. So, you know, that's why I tell you it's, a, it's kind of a fair weather shelter. For this one, on the opposite corner, I'm going to take one of my Prusik loops run it through a grommet, and then I'm going to use another one of my stakes as a toggle, and then I'm going to pull that Prusik away and tighten that down. And you can see that Prusik is bit and held. Now I'm going to take two more stakes and stake out the back. I've established a quick lean-to shelter that's going to give me some give me some shade, but it's going to let a lot of uh, convective breeze in and help keep me uh, help keep me from overheating. So this is a good fair weather shelter uh, whenever you, you don't expect it to rain. Now another great shelter configuration that you can use is called the A-frame, and the A-frame I would use if I expect it to rain. Uh, so. Um, but maybe it's not so cold. The diamond plow point will protect you from rain for sure. Uh, the A-frame is a little bit fairer weather, a little bit warmer weather, so I don't want that much body heat trap, but I also don't want to get wet. I'm going to go to an A-frame. So all I have to do is break this down quickly. Then rather than going off of one of the corners here, I'm gonna to switch to the center grommet of the poncho. On this side, toggle that in. Same thing on this one. Using my Prusik loop through the center toggle. But I wanna go up and over. Use my Prusik loop through the center toggle, or I'm sorry, toggle that off through the center grommet. Pull that tight. Then I'll pull off the back side, take that off. And this is a good reason to have paracord or bank line already tied off onto your poncho grommets, is in case you want to configure it this way. Take that off. Come over to this side. Same thing. And on to the front side. All right, guys, trying to work quickly for you here. And the last corner. And that gives me an A-frame shelter that'll shed water nicely, but I've still got a good uh, the ability to take advantage of a good convective breeze. 
to keep me from getting too hot. Uh, so this is an A-frame configuration. One thing that you'll notice is all of this is based off of the same ridge line. Okay, so one thing to think about whenever you're making a, a shelter, when you're trying to hide, when you're trying to be tactical, um, you're, you're in a non-permissive environment, you're trying to, to, to blend. Um, the acronym that you want to remember is BLISS, B-L-I-S-S. -S. That stands for blend with the surroundings. L stands for low silhouette. Remember we talked about waist or lower. It's even better if you can get it knee high or lower. Uh, but here, you know, I've got a lot of, of underbrush that kind of keeps me pretty well hidden. Uh, I is irregular shape, uh, which this does not have. You know, this is straight lines. Uh, there are a lot of things about this particular configuration as is um, that, that would give it away. You know, the, the straight lines, the, the shadow, the surface texture of this versus the surface texture around it. Uh, there's a lot of things that would give this away. So if I wasn't just trying to show you this in the video, I would take a lot of, uh, a lot of things like uh, vegetation from a different area I'd bring in and I would try to break up the outline. Uh, of this. So uh, S, it needs to be small and the other S is it needs to be in a secluded location, uh, which I feel like I'm kind of in right now. So other than the regular shape, which I haven't done on this one, uh, this is a pretty good shelter. So remember Bliss and it'll help you stay hidden.